In mathematics, particularly in linear algebra and functional analysis, the polar decomposition of a matrix or linear operator is a factorization analogous to the polar form of a nonzero complex number z as z equals r e i theta Display style z equals re caret i theta, where r is the absolute value of z, a positive real number, and e i theta. Display style e caret i theta is an element of the circle group. Topic. Matrix polar decomposition The polar decomposition of a square complex matrix A is a matrix decomposition of the form A equals U P display style A equals up where U is a unitary matrix and P is a positive semi-definite Hermitian matrix. Intuitively, the polar decomposition separates A into a component that stretches the space along a set of orthogonal axes, represented by P, and a rotation with possible reflection represented by U. The decomposition of the complex conjugate of A Display style a is given by a equals u p display style overline a equals overline u overline p. This decomposition always exists, and so long as a is invertible, it is unique with p positive definite. Note that det a equals debt u debt p equals r e i theta display style debt a equals debt u debt p equals re caret i theta gives the corresponding polar decomposition of the determinant of a since det p equals r equals det a display style det p equals r equals det a and det u equals E I theta display style debt u equals e caret i theta. In particular, if a display style a has determinant one, then both u display style u and p display style p have determinant 1. The matrix P is always unique, even if A is singular, and given by P equals A a 1 2 Display style p equals left a caret asterisk a right caret frac 1 2 where a asterisk denotes the conjugate transpose of a this expression is ensured to be well defined since a a display style a caret asterisk a is a positive semidefinite hermitian matrix and therefore has a unique positive semidefinite hermitian square root if A is invertible, then the matrix U is uniquely determined by U equals A P minus one. 
Display style u equals a p caret minus one. Moreover, if a display style a is invertible, then p display style p is strictly positive definite, and thus has a unique self-adjoint logarithm. Every invertible matrix A can therefore be written uniquely in the form A equals U E X, display style A equals U carrot X, where U display style U is unitary and X display style X is self-adjoint. This decomposition is useful in computing the fundamental group of matrix Lie groups in terms of the singular value decomposition of A. A equals W sigma v asterisk one has p equals v sigma v u equals W v display style begin aligned p and equals v sigma v caret asterisk u and equals W v caret asterisk end aligned confirming that p is positive definite and U is unitary. Thus, the existence of the SVD is equivalent to the existence of polar decomposition. One can also decompose A in the form A equals P U A equals Pu here u is the same as before and p is given by p equals u p u minus 1 equals a a 1 2 equals w Sigma W Display style P equals Upu carrot minus one equals left double A carrot asterisk right carrot FRAC one two equals W Sigma W carrot asterisk this is known as the left polar decomposition, whereas the previous decomposition is known as the right polar decomposition. Left polar decomposition is also known as reverse polar decomposition. The matrix A is normal if and only if P equals P. Then U sigma equals sigma U, and it is possible to diagonalize U with a unitary similarity matrix S that commutes with sigma, giving Seuss asterisk. Topic Phi minus one, where Phi is a diagonal unitary matrix of phases A Phi. Putting Q V S asterisk, one can then rewrite the polar decomposition as A equals Q Phi Q Q Sigma Q Display style a equals left q phi q caret asterisk right left q sigma q caret asterisk right. So a then thus also has a spectral decomposition. A equals q lambda q. Display style a equals q lambda q caret asterisk with complex eigenvalues such that lambda lambda equals sigma two display style lambda lambda caret asterisk equals sigma caret two and a unitary matrix of complex eigenvectors q. The polar decomposition of a square invertible real matrix A is of the form A equals A R display style A equals A R where A equals 
a a t 1 2 Display style a equals left double a caret text sf t right caret frac one two is a positive definite matrix and r equals a minus one a display style r equals a caret minus one a is an orthogonal matrix. Topic: Construction and proofs of existence. The core idea behind the construction of the polar decomposition is similar to that used to compute the singular value decomposition. For any matrix, a Display style a. The matrix a o. Display style a caret asterisk a is Hermitian and positive semi-definite, and therefore unitarily equivalent to a positive semi-definite diagonal matrix. Let then v display style v be the unitary matrix such that o o equals v d v display style a caret asterisk a equals v d v caret asterisk with d display style d diagonal and positive semi definite Topic Case of O Display style A Normal If A Display style A is normal, then it is unitarily equivalent to a diagonal matrix A equals V Lambda V display style a equals v lambda v caret asterisk for some unitary v display style v and some diagonal matrix lambda display style lambda the polar decomposition is in this case obtained by writing v a V equals Phi Lambda Lambda Display style V carrot asterisk A V equals Phi underscore Lambda Lambda Where Lambda Display style Lambda is the diagonal matrix with the absolute values of the elements of Lambda Display style lambda and phi lambda display style phi underscore lambda is a diagonal matrix with containing the phases of the elements of lambda display style lambda. In other words, phi lambda lambda. J K equals Delta J K E I Phi K Lambda K equals Delta J K Lambda K 
Display style left phi underscore lambda lambda right underscore j k equals delta underscore j k e caret i phi underscore k left lambda underscore k right equals delta underscore j k lambda underscore k when lambda k equals zero Display style lambda underscore k equals zero. The corresponding phase can be chosen arbitrarily. Going back into the original basis, we obtain the polar decomposition of a display style a a equals v phi lambda lambda v equals v phi lambda v u v lambda v p Display style a equals v phi underscore lambda lambda v caret asterisk equals under brace left v phi underscore lambda v caret asterisk right underscore u under brace left v lambda v caret asterisk right underscore p. Topic case of O display style a invertible using for example the singular value decomposition it can be readily shown that a matrix O display style a is invertible if and only if O O display style a caret asterisk O equivalently a a display style double a caret asterisk is moreover this is true if and only if the eigenvalues of o o display style a caret asterisk o are all not zero in this case the polar decomposition is directly obtained by writing a equals a a a minus one two a a one two Display style a equals a left a caret asterisk a right caret frac one two left a caret asterisk a right caret frac one two, and observing that a a l minus one two. Display style a left a caret asterisk a right caret frac one two is unitary. To see this, we can exploit the spectral decomposition of a a display style a caret asterisk a to write a a a minus one two equals a v d minus one two v Display style a left a caret asterisk o right caret frac one two equals a v d caret frac one two v caret asterisk. In this expression, v display style v caret asterisk is unitary because v display style v is to show that also 
a v d minus 1 2 display style a v d caret frac 1 2 is unitary we can use the svd to write a equals w d 1 2 v display style a equals wd caret frac 1 2 v caret asterisk so that a v D minus one two equals W D one two V V D minus one two equals W Display style A V D carrot FRAC one two equals W D carrot FRAC one two V carrot asterisk V D carrot FRAC one two equals W Where again W Display style W is unitary by construction. Yet another way to directly show the unitarity of a a a minus one two display style a left a caret asterisk a right caret frac one two is to note that writing the SVD of a display style a in terms of rank one matrices as a equals k s k v k w k display style a equals sum underscore k s underscore k v underscore k w underscore k caret asterisk where s k display style s underscore k are the singular values of a display style a we have which directly implies the unitarity of a a a minus 1 2 display style a left a caret asterisk a right caret frac 1 2 because a matrix is unitary if and only if its singular values have unitary absolute value Note how, from the above construction, it follows that the unitary matrix in the polar decomposition of an invertible matrix is uniquely defined. <laughs> General case The above argument crucially relies on the existence of A, A Minus one two display style left a caret asterisk a right caret frac one two and therefore on a a display style a caret asterisk o being invertible. Indeed, in the general case, a v D minus one two display style a v d caret frac one two is not generally well defined due to the possibility of D display style D having vanishing eigenvalues. 
let us denote with v 1 display style v underscore 1 the in general not square matrix whose columns are the eigenvectors of a a display style a caret asterisk a corresponding to non vanishing eigenvalues with d 1 display style d underscore 1 the diagonal matrix containing the associated non-zero eigenvalues and with v 2 display style v underscore 2 the matrix with the remaining eigenvectors of a a display style a caret asterisk o we can then write the spectral decomposition of a o display style a caret asterisk a as o o equals v 1 v 2 d 1 0 0 0 v 1 V two equals V one D one volt one. Display style a carrot asterisk a equals begin V matrix V underscore one and V underscore two end V matrix begin V matrix D underscore one and zero zero and zero end V matrix begin V matrix V underscore one carrot asterisk V underscore two carrot asterisk end B matrix equals V underscore one D underscore one V underscore one carrot asterisk. Note that, similarly to the invertible case, A V one D one minus one two display style A V underscore one D underscore one carrot FRAC one two is well defined and its columns are orthonormal, although it is not in general square and therefore unitary. We now define U equals A V one D one minus one two Phi display style U equals left A V underscore one D underscore one carrot FRAC one two Phi right where Phi display style Phi is a matrix whose columns are chosen so that U display style U is unitary. This is done by finding a set of orthonormal vectors which, together with the columns of A V 1 D 1 minus 1 2 Display style a v underscore one D underscore one carrot frac one two Form a complete base for the space, and using these vectors as the columns of phi. Display style phi. Note how the definition of u. Display style u is not unique unless a a. Display style a caret asterisk a, and therefore. A display style A is invertible, in which case A V one D one minus one two display style a v underscore 1 D underscore 1 carrot frac 1 2 is already unitary and uniquely defined. The argument now proceeds similarly to the invertible case, with the only difference of using u in place of a v d minus 
1 2 Display style A V D carrot FRAC one two. Indeed, we have U A O one two U V one V two O O one Two equals A V one D one minus one two V one plus Phi V two V one D one one two V one equals A Display style U left a carrot asterisk O right carrot FRAC one two a quiv U begin V matrix V underscore one carrot asterisk V underscore two carrot asterisk end V matrix left A carrot asterisk O right carrot FRAC one two equals left A V underscore one D underscore one carrot FRAC one two V underscore one carrot asterisk plus five V underscore two carrot asterisk right V underscore one D underscore one carrot FRAC one two V underscore one equals A where we use the orthogonality of the columns of V one Display style V underscore one and V two Display style V underscore two which is equivalent to V two V one equals zero Display style v underscore two carrot asterisk v underscore one equals zero and u display style u is the product of two unitaries and is therefore also unitary. Topic: General case, alternative proof. Making use of the SVD of A display style A, a more direct proof can be found. The SVD of A display style A reads A equals W D one two V display style a equals W D caret frac one two V caret asterisk with W V display style W V unitary matrices and D display style D a diagonal positive semi definite matrix by simply inserting an additional pair of w display style w s or v display style v s we obtain the two forms of the polar decomposition of a display style a a equals w d 1 2 v equals w d 1 2 
W P W V U equals W V U V D one two V P Display style equals W D carrot FRAC one two V carrot asterisk equals under brace left W D carrot FRAC one two W carrot asterisk right underscore P under brace left W V carrot asterisk right underscore U equals under brace left W V carrot asterisk right underscore U under brace left V D Carrot FRAC one two V carrot asterisk right underscore P Topic Bounded operators on Hilbert space The polar decomposition of any bounded linear operator of between complex Hilbert spaces is a canonical factorization as the product of a partial isometry and a non-negative operator. The polar decomposition for matrices generalizes as follows, if A is a bounded linear operator then there is a unique factorization of A as a product A equals up where U is a partial isometry, P is a non-negative self-adjoint operator and the initial space of U is the closure of the range of P. The operator U must be weakened to a partial isometry, rather than unitary, because of the following issues. If A is the one-sided shift on L2 N, then, A A O 1 half I so if A equals U, A, U must be A, which is not unitary. The existence of a polar decomposition is a consequence of Douglas's lemma. Lemma if A, B are bounded operators on a Hilbert space H, and A asterisk A B asterisk B, then there exists a contraction C such that A equals C B. Furthermore, C is unique if Kerr B Kerr C, the operator C can be defined by C B H, equals A for all H in H, extended by continuity to the closure of Ran B, and by zero on the orthogonal complement to all of H. The lemma then follows since A asterisk A B asterisk B implies Kerr B Kerr A. In particular, if A asterisk A equals B asterisk B, then C is a partial isometry, which is unique if Kerr B asterisk Kerr C. In general, for any bounded operator A A O equals A O one two O O one two display style a caret asterisk o equals left a caret asterisk o right caret frac one two left a caret asterisk o right caret frac one two where a asterisk o one half is the unique positive square root of a asterisk a given by the usual functional calculus. So by the lemma, we have A equals U A O one two Display style A equals U left A carrot asterisk O right carrot FRAC one two for some partial isometry U, which is unique if Kerr A asterisk Kerr U. Take P to be A asterisk O one half and one obtains the polar decomposition of 
Topic up. Notice that an analogous argument can be used to show a pu where p is positive and u a partial isometry. When h is finite dimensional, u can be extended to a unitary operator. This is not true in general. See example above. Alternatively, the polar decomposition can be shown using the operator version of singular value decomposition. By property of the continuous functional calculus, A, is in the C** algebra generated by A. A similar but weaker statement holds for the partial isometry, U is in the von Neumann algebra generated by A. If A is invertible, the polar part U will be in the C** algebra as well. Unbounded operators If A is a closed, densely defined unbounded operator between complex Hilbert spaces then it still has a unique polar decomposition. A equals U A displaystyle A equals U A where a is a possibly unbounded non-negative self-adjoint operator with the same domain as a and u as a partial isometry vanishing on the orthogonal complement of the range ran a the proof uses the same lemma as above which goes through for unbounded operators in general if dom a asterisk a Topic Dom B asterisk B and A asterisk A B asterisk B H for all H element of Dom A asterisk A, then there exists a partial isometry U such that A equals UB. U is unique if ran B cur U. The operator of being closed and densely defined ensures that the operator a asterisk a is self-adjoint with dense domain, and therefore allows one to define a asterisk o one half. Applying the lemma gives polar decomposition. If an unbounded operator a is affiliated to a von Neumann algebra M and a equals up as its polar decomposition, then U is in M and so is the spectral projection of P, 1 B P, for any Borel set B in 0, infinity. Topic quaternion polar decomposition equals the polar decomposition of quaternions H depends on the sphere x i plus y j plus z k element of H x two plus y two plus z two equals one display style l brace she plus y j plus z k in H x caret two plus y caret two plus z caret two equals one r brace of square root of minus 1. Given any r on this sphere, and an angle minus pi e a r equals cos a plus r sin a display style e caret r equals cos a plus r sin a is on the three sphere of h. For a topic zero in a. Pi, the verser is 1 or minus 1 regardless of which r is selected. The norm t of a quaternion q is the Euclidean distance from the origin to q. When a quaternion is not just a real number, then there is a unique polar decomposition. q equals t e a r display style q equals t caret r topic alternative planar decompositions 
In the Cartesian plane, alternative planar ring decompositions arise as follows. Topic: <laughs> Numerical determination of the matrix polar decomposition. To compute an approximation of the polar decomposition A equals up, usually the unitary factor U is approximated. The iteration is based on Heron's method for the square root of 1 and computes, starting from U 0 equals A display style U underscore 0 equals A the sequence u k plus 1 equals 1 2 u k plus u k minus 1 k equals Zero one two display style u underscore k plus one equals frac one two left u underscore k plus left u underscore k caret asterisk right caret minus one right q quad k equals zero one two l dots the combination of inversion and Hermite conjugation is chosen so that in the singular value decomposition, the unitary factors remain the same and the iteration reduces to Heron's method on the singular values. This basic iteration may be refined to speed up the process. See also Carton decomposition Algebraic polar decomposition Polar decomposition of a complex measure